While the rain will not stop several neighborhoods from hosting annual National Night Out events tonight, it's a chance to get to know your neighbors. And one local mom feels more conversations could lead to the suspect in her son's murder. News 8's Richard Essex has the story. National Night Out in some neighborhoods is a chance for people to catch up just that one night a year. But in other neighborhoods, it's a chance to make a difference. There is almost nothing you can say or do to ease Jessica Monday's pain. Five weeks ago, her 15 year old son, Michael Walters II, was murdered. Me and his dad heard a couple gunshots. By the time we got to the window, we didn't see anything. By the time we got downstairs, one had got him right there. Michael Walters died in his bedroom, surrounded by his family. This past weekend, Walters would have turned 16 years old. To celebrate his life, his siblings held a celebration of life event. However, someone showed up to the event with a gun and, according to an email sent to people in the neighborhood, fired off 25 to 30 rounds. But people showed up and guns got to got shooting and police got called. I didn't go. I went after the fact. But it's very upsetting to see that many youth and how many could have got hurt. All in supposed to be celebrating my son's life. In the 35 days since Michael Walters was murdered, his mother says the investigation hasn't progressed much. She says there are rumors circulating on social media, but nothing concrete. Monday believes the fear of retaliation has kept people quiet. Because these kids have shot my son on a foot. You can't tell me nobody's seen them. You know, so people are just scared to say anything. Fear of retaliation. Tonight, just six blocks up the street from Monday's house in the Sacred Heart Catholic Church parking lot, there will be a National Nights Out event. Lisa Hale of the Old Southside Neighborhood Association says National Night Out is about eliminating fears of retaliation. Collecting some of our neighbors from the local areas and standing unified together, knowing that we can fight any type of crime or any kind of disturbance in the neighborhood by doing it together. Justice for Walters may come from new relationships built in a church parking lot. Well, absolutely. I think if you establish a connection and a relationship, when things like this happen, they would be more open to talk. Monday says police have not named a suspect in her son's murder. In Indianapolis, Richard Essex, Wish TV, News 8.